Good morning. This is Tanks Vlog for September 26, 2018. Wrapping up the day in sports. We are brought to you by Allow Me to Be Frank. New episode out now with Smitty of Barstool fame. You know, Smitty, the one that Michael Rappaport still owes money, still won't pay, and now he's suing. <laughs> what nerve! What nerve! But listen to Smitty on Allow Me To Be Frank. You can hear it on iTunes and SoundCloud. And even if Michael Rappaport begs, we will never have that loser on Allow Me To Be Frank. So let's go to the wrap up. It's down to the final five Days of the regular season in baseball. And while everything is pretty much settled in the American League, the National League is going down to the wire. Braves are about the only thing that's a certainty. Uh, they're going to the playoffs. They're the National League East champions. And today they rally to beat the Mets because our manager sucks. Rainy day, flash floods everywhere. You know who you rely on? You rely on Noah to get you through it. You rely on Noah Syndergaard. Thor, thunderstorms, getting to over the flood, and he was dealing. Mets up 3 nothing. but then he brings in Robert Gazelman, who gazucks. And all you, next thing you know, it's 4-3 Braves or 7-3 Braves after that. Mets bullpen dumpster fire on Tuesday night. Embarrassing, horrible loss. You know, I understand the Mets set down Zach Wheeler. He reached the ending limit. They don't want him to burn himself out. He had a great second half. Very positive. Let's build him up for next season. After missing two years and having a bad 20, 6, 17, and a was off to a bad start of the year. Has had ERA at one point over five. And then he ended up finishing in the top ten in ERA. So they shut him down. Fine. But they keep trucking Robert Gazelman out there. And he has nothing left. Nothing. You know, Gazelman had good points this year. He had bad points this year. He's been terrible in September. He's pitching on fumes. He's tired. He's probably reached the limit of what he could pitch. So shut him down too. I mean, what, what? You shut down someone who's good, but you won't shut down someone who sucks? Hey. This is why it's such a pain in the ass to be a Mets fan. In the Central Division, we got the Milwaukee Brewers... Now, this close to clinching a playoff spot, 12-4 win over the Cardinals. Christian Yelich continues to show why he is the MVP in the National League today. Six RBI as the Brewers dismantled the Cardinals and slammed them, slammed them down. And now the magic number for the playoffs is one. But no, 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 no. They got loftier expectations, loftier goals in the wild card. And hosting that wild card game at Miller Park. Which right now looks like almost a certainty if they don't get the Central Division. And now the Cubs have lost two straight in at home to the Pirates. Shut out today. 6 nothing by Chris Archer and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And all of a sudden, the Brewers are just a half game out of first place. So, Cubs and Brewers look like they'll at least know to be in the playoffs. And uh, you see, actually, two have the two top records in the National League. And right now, they're looking good. I mean, it's going to come down to the, the nitty gritty end with these two teams. It's good. One's probably going to be the division winner. And one is going to be 
hosting that wild card game. And the Brewers have a distinct advantage ending the season at home against a bad Tiger team. While the Cubs will be finishing their season against the Cardinals, who are in a fight for their life for the second wild card spot. And with the Cardinals' loss today, plus a win by the Colorado Rockies, a 10 3 stomping of the Philadelphia Phillies, the Phillies have literally now quit on the season. This is a team that was at one point in first place in August. Now 78 and 79, just done. It looks like they've, they're just going to mail in the last week of the season. And with that win, the Rockies now have the second wild card spot. And they too have loftier goals, as they're now also a half game out of first after the Dodgers were beaten. By the Arizona Diamondbacks, 4-3. Dodgers fought back all night long. Tied the game in the ninth inning. But in the bottom of the inning, Eduardo Escobar got a walk-off home run off of Kende Maeda to give the Diamondbacks a 4-3 win. Diamondbacks have been eliminated. But boy, they could certainly put a hurting on the Dodgers. And that's going to come down to the weekend as well. And the Rockies end their season against the Nationals, while the Dodgers will be wrapping things up against the Giants in San Francisco. And the Giants haven't played well. They have not played well at all. Giants, in fact, have been terrible. Uh, As we do this vlog right now, they're currently tied in the 12th inning with the Padres. Wins have not come easy, but you can bet this weekend the Giants will bring it. There's been many times that the Giants have taken glee out of knocking the Giants out of the playoffs. Think back 1982. Last game of the season, Braves need a win and the Dodger lost to clinch. And they get it. Thanks to a Joe Morgan home run. 11 years later. Giants win over 100 games. In the last year before wild card play. And what happened? Mike Piazza. Puts the stake through their heart. As the. As the Braves win the West again. So the Giants have. Many a time. When they're out of the race. Taking glee out of dri- uh, driving a stake in their heart. So one year it was the Dodgers that did it. One year it was the Giants that did it. Dodgers did the Giants. So it's it's gonna these two teams throw out the records. Elsewhere in the National League. It was the Nationals, 9-4 winners over the Marlins. As Max Scherzer can try to make his case for Cy Young by topping 300 strikeouts. You know, people say wins aren't a big deal. I don't think strikeouts are a big deal. You know, everyone strikes out now, so what's the difference? Royals beat the Reds 4-3. In the American League, where everything is pretty much settled, the uh, Red Sox were rained out. Uh, They'll make make it up with a doubleheader on Wednesday. Uh, Poor Baltimore Orioles. I think they were hoping that the game would be canceled. Yankees, meanwhile, beat the Rays 9-2. Gary Sanchez starting to look like he's getting his uh, uh, bat back in order. Hit a three-run homer. As uh, they're still trying to get that home field for the wild card game. Uh, currently, right now, the uh, Mariners and Athletics are tied 8 8 after 10 innings. So, at least they'll have a game and a half lead. And if uh, somehow the Yankees were 
If the A's were to lose this game in Seattle, that could seriously end any hope of the game being in Oakland. And if, if the Mariners win, the Houston Astros will clinch the, National, the American League West. Today, the Astros won their 100th game, beating the Blue Jays 4-1. to And one more win or one more A's loss, and they are your Western Division champions. White Sox rallied to beat the Indians 5-4. to Indians already won the Central. Nothing else they could do. Nothing, nowhere else they can go. It was the Tigers doubling up the Twins 4-2. The Angels beat the Rangers 4-1. to Moving on to the three stars, it's uh, Christian Yelich, who I think is now a lock to be your National League MVP, with six RBI as the Brewers inch closer to clinching a playoff spot and maybe even overtaking the Cubs for first place in the Central. You got Anthony Rendon. We went 3-for-3, three three, 4 RBI as the Nationals beat the Marlins. Rendon, by the way, it's his second straight day, being one of our three stars. And David Dahl, who had 4 RBI with 3-for-5 in the Rockies, win over the Phillies. Today's birthday shout-out goes to the legendary tennis player who had a meltdown about a month ago now, uh, Serena Williams. She turns 37. And we take a look back to 1988, when two days after setting the track on fire, winning the 100 meters in 9.79 seconds, Ben Johnson is exposed as a juicer. He loses his medal, loses his reputation, as he was uh, tested positive for anabolic steroids. But Carl Lewis getting the gold medal. Now, of course, years later, they found out almost everyone involved in the race was on something or other. It's just some of them didn't, uh, they used masking agents and knew how to cycle down. It was just Ben Johnson was the dumb one to get caught. So, check out this full story at Barstool Sports. And that's Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Don't forget to listen to Allow Me To Be Frank on iCloud and SoundTunes. That I, iTunes and SoundCloud, you know they should merge each other. iTunes and SoundCloud it sounds like a perfect merger. And good day.